Michael, dude, we got into it. Mark Cerny kind of gave us a rundown. What's going on? Finally, dude, the uh, not so well hidden rumor <laughs> is finally now out in the bag here. It is the PS5 Pro has been re revealed. Dude, let's get <laughs> let's get the elephant out of the room. November 7th release date. We got a release date. All right, cool. Yeah, okay. At a $700 price Ooh. tag, though, man. <laughs> wow. Like, holy, that is, uh, huh. That is not cheap, to say the least. Oh. This is going to be for those who are looking for the newest, the latest, the greatest, the tech. Because, dude, I don't know about you, but I came off this going, wow. Like, the PS5 Pro is really a significant step up from the PS5, isn't it? Yeah, it sounds like the PS5 Pro, if you didn't see the announcement, the big t thing that they're pushing, right, is if you have a PS5, you use it to take between fidelity and mode or performance, right? Do you want the game to look good or do you want it to run good? And it seems like the PS5 Pro's focus is kind of smashing those together, right? It's going to look good, but it's also going to run on 60 FPS. That's what Mark Sony talked a ton about. Yeah, it looks good, but it's only on 30 FPS. Or yeah, it runs at 60 FPS, but it doesn't look good. So that's what it's yeah. all about. And I like that. I think that's a massive change. But the one thing, Drew, that I came out of this mainly thing to myself, what does the PS6 do or whatever that's going to... I'm assuming it's going to be the PS6, right? Because we already know Xbox yeah, has yeah. said, 2025, we're bringing something new to the table, right? We're going to maybe go handheld, but we're going to have a new console at Xbox. They've already kind of led to that rumor. But if I put $700 down on the PS5 Pro, another 500 on the ps6 in less than 12 months like what does the ps6 no. bring like this feels to me like almost a way of saying is there gonna be a ps6 is this it's just weird to me right if we're gonna get the next gen what is the point of this so late and as we talked about at the price tag that is big and the elephant in the room true no absolutely it's uh this is where you want to play all the games Forget Xbox, right? Yeah. This is PlayStation going, you don't need Xbox. You got us. And this is why you come to PlayStation. Because where's the best place to play Spider-Man? On the PS5 Pro. Horizon, right? They gave us a list of all the games we've already seen, mm -hmm. right? The only new game that I noticed that was in the trailer that isn't officially out yet is Assassin's Creed Shadows, which is just around the corner. So, November 15th for Assassin's Creed Shadows suddenly becomes the better place to play on PlayStation Pro, right? PlayStation 5 Pro, not Xbox. Xbox isn't the most powerful console around now. It is the PlayStation 5 Pro. And they want you to know that going into next year when you're looking at where do I pick up GTA 6, right? Where mm. do I want to have the best fidelity? Oh, I don't have to choose fidelity now. I just play my game. Yep. Oh, isn't that convenient, right? And then I get the best graphics, the best fidelity of the whole everything that you needed to from the 60 frames to he mark Cerny even said the ps5 could run at 120 frames i'm like dude we have yet to really see that shine right yeah so now with the ps5 pro i think there's the opportunity they talked about the big three right the gpu the ray tracing and the pssr which is their ai driven upscaling the ray tracing can now be doubled if not tripled at times dude like this is a beast the gpu is 45 percent faster in the rendering right everything all of this adds up to just make it hey you don't now you no longer need to choose that's the biggest thing for us moving forward and they gave us examples of you know looking at spider-man stuff the things the distance some of those things are on ps5 pro obviously you're gonna be a lot nicer looking the last of us part two running looked incredible the game already looks incredible mm -hmm. now on the ps5 pro here you go I don't think we get the PS6 anytime soon. I don't think we get it in 12 months. I don't think we get it in 24 months. I think the PS5 or the PS6 is out in four years. So we're coming mid console generation right now, and they're looking to push that. The PS4 took eight years, mm -hmm. right? You get the PS5 out. And I think that's where we're at right now. We're currently about four years in on the PS5. Here's the mid generation console upgrade until they get ready for the PS6 and what they're going to innovate and move on forward with the next generation of consoles. So in the meantime, they need to satisfy us knowing that Xbox is currently working on something. How can we get ahead and still remain top dog and not worry about Xbox? And this solidifies that going into next year because the way the things are set up right now with Xbox is it doesn't sound like we're gonna get any new console from Xbox until 2026. Michael, obviously the biggest thing does come down to the November 7th date at $700. Who is buying this? becomes the biggest question. 
do you really need that upgrade? Michael, you don't have a PlayStation, dude. If you're going to choose right now, which way are you going? PS5 or PS5 Pro? I mean, I would say PS5 Pro because everything they said makes me want to hook in, but that price tag is just... Killer. It's it's brutal, man. I mean, we talked about it. It's the elephant in the room. I, It's close to the holidays, right? I guess that's like the one saving grace. Wait till the holidays, then that 700's a little less impactful. A little bit of money from here, a little bit of money from there. Let's like, but it's just, it's, it's a tough price tag, right? That's the one thing that I'm kind of like a little bit iffy on. And the other thing is, maybe you bundle over the game, right? Maybe if you give me like Assassin's Creed Shadows, that's like the closest game that's being released that kind of they highlighted. Maybe then it's like, okay. I get Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm saving that 70 bucks already. That price tag feels a little less bad. But yeah, that's the... I, I don't know, Drew. I, I want a PlayStation, but when I saw that price tag and I was like, oh, man. I, I just don't know if I can commit when... Uh, maybe I'll wait a year. Maybe when it's closer to GTA 6, that price tag, again, that's what we, as we talked about, it's going to look amazing when you play this game with GTA 6. Then I'll be like, all right, let, that's now when it's worth it. But yeah. That price tag, I, I I can't. I'll be honest with you. I just don't think I can pull the trigger day one with a price tag that starts the seven. No, that's fair too. Right now, we want to know from our audience. We want to talk to you guys. And what, are you picking this up? Do you have a PS5 already? And if that, if so, are you about to upgrade? That's the biggest question for me. If you already have one, is that good enough for where you're at? Because I know it currently, dude. That's how I feel. I'm like my PS5 thing is incredible. Do I need to upgrade for seven hundred dollars? Not yet.